Okay, so the subject of what we're going to talk about today is we're going to take a look at how we do social media listening. So over this process of the next 30 minutes, uh, what I'd like to go through is one, how to find this video, which will be important, and where we're going to put it in the, uh, in the HER organizational document. And then the second thing is we're going to take a look at, uh, we're going to take a look at the principle of social media listening first and why we might want to use it. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a tool called Hootsuite that can really enhance our ability to listen and understand what's going on in the marketplace. And I'll also end, Maria, by showing you some tools that you can use to, uh, um, to actually learn more, some materials that you can use to learn more about how to do social media listening, okay? So let's do the very first thing and decide where should we put this document. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen and uh, where, where exactly in HAR should I put a document like this? Should I put it on the Trello board or where can the next person look to find this resource? No, you can put it on the discussion management HR. Okay, in the discussion management, yeah? Okay, can I? Can I reach the discussion management from the from the Trello board? Let's see. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it and try to see if I can reach there. Okay. So I'll start on the Trello board. I'll get myself into the discussion management. And uh, okay, where should I put this then? It's usually on the discussion first. Uh, it's usually where? Discussion part. Okay. Ah, but if I put it in discussion, it'll go away after a while, right? So I needed to. I need this video to go somewhere where somebody will be able to find it. Is there a section that is most suitable for that? The library, perhaps. Mm, I guess, yeah. Okay, let's check. Or you can probably put it on the HR documentation. Okay, let's check whether it belongs in the library or the uh, documentation. Oh, okay, we could probably put it under services, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, all right, so we can put, let's say, social media listening, and uh, later we'll put the link to our video over here, okay? Uh, one of the things I'd like to do right away is, I'll get this out of the way so that I don't forget. One of the resources that is available to anybody who requests it, they need to request it from me, is LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning is about 10 times better than YouTube because the, uh, the learning, on there's no ads, it's not created, this material isn't created to sell ads. The material is created by experts who have lots of experience and it's a paid subscription. So um, I'll put this um, social media listening. It's a really interesting topic and I'll put this resource um, available on your HR document, okay? And basically, I'll put it over here, uh, LinkedIn, learning for social media monitoring monitoring okay i'll say ask jing for access right if you need access to it you can just uh, ping me and i'll happily give you access okay so that link has already been embedded there when somebody clicks on that link it will open linkedin um, they probably won't have access to it until they ask me for access, but I can make that happen. Okay, great. And then once we have our video today, we'll put that also there too as well. Okay, let's let's kind of like go through this idea of what is social media listening, all right? So um, this is a typical Instagram feed. And in this Instagram feed, of course, we see all kinds of you know different topics, right? But yep. the key is really not to think as yourself. The key is to think more like how a person that you are trying to listen to thinks, okay? So in this particular context, we're thinking of a, a guest coming to Bali, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's let's imagine for a moment, uh, it's about a month before my trip to Bali. I'm coming from, I don't know, let's say Canada, okay? What might I be doing on Instagram right now? What kind of hashtags would I be looking at? How would I develop my search, where would I begin that process? And let's let's go through that process first. Maria. <clears throat> I would say I'm going to search for the hashtag something like Villa Renta or Chip Villa in Bali. Okay, so maybe something like Bali Villa, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we search for that on Instagram and we see there's a hashtag with uh, a lot of posts, right? We see that there's mm -hmm. a hashtag with over 300,000 posts. 
And that might motivate us to look at that because that seems like a very busy subject, right? There's quite a lot of material there. All right, once we see that, we, uh, we see all these different posts and what kind of data can we get from just looking at, let's say, these particular posts right now? What, what can we understand? It's too broad if you're only looking for polyphila. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a little bit broad, but uh, what am I looking for here? I'm trying to find something that will give me the next step. What, what should I be looking for and how should I make a decision on what, what, what to guide my senses? Maybe how many bedroom that might suit your preferences? Correct, correct. Okay, that's a little bit more detailed now, right? So I'm not at the inspiration phase anymore if I'm looking about bedrooms. I'm looking at actually a practical solution at that point. So that's a little bit, uh, maybe that's tomorrow or a week from today. So right now, it's still a month away. I'm just looking for inspiration, right? So um, the way I would go about this is what we're looking for as, let's say, social media listeners, is we're looking for, think of this, Maria, as a room full of conversations, okay? So imagine you're going to like an expo and you see a room full of conversations. And you'll see some conversations are really busy. There's a lot of activity around it, right? Like when you walk into a convention and you see thousands of people around a particular booth, okay? And then some other uh, might not be so busy. Some other ones might actually be a little bit more um, unattended, okay? So we're going we're gonna to take a quick look, and we're going to see how many engagements are happening. So there's six engagements happening in this post, 48, 5, 6, 11, 16. Okay, so we're going to search around. We're going to try to find a big number here. These are beautiful pictures, by the way. All these are very attractive. Um, okay, so we see... We see, this is probably our, our winner right here. This one has 48 on it. So we're gonna click yeah. down on it, okay? And then essentially we have a list of hashtags. Oh, we can see we, this, is a, this is a winner. This has a ton of likes on it, 12,000 likes. We can see this other galaxy of hashtags that are available. So what we wanna do is essentially do this, right? We wanna, we wanna keep track of all the different hashtags that might be, wait, let me, uh, free up some of my RAM, excuse me for a second, I should actually have this removed before we started, because uh, my thing is gonna slow down. Okay, so what we wanna do, oh no, sorry. What we wanna do <laughs> is, okay, we have the documentation there, I can remove this, I can remove this, okay, there, all right. Okay, what we wanna do is we wanna take note and keep track of all these different hashtags that we're seeing, right? So this would be part of our social media monitoring effort, okay? So we're looking at the most successful posts and we're seeing what kind of hashtags are they using. So we can go here and we can create a, a theme and then associated hashtags, okay? Okay, so the theme, sorry, the theme is Bali Villa, okay, and these are some hashtags that are associated with that, right, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's see what else can we find. Um, all right, this is pretty highly engaging. This has, uh, oh, this has 4,000 uh, engagements, but this, oh, we have to decide. Is this relevant or not to the guest journey right now? I don't think it's relevant, sir. Because right, because it's located in? Yep, it's in Morocco. Right, okay. So that probably isn't the most relevant um, thing that we want to look at. And actually, now that we look at our hashtags again, we can probably eliminate some hashtags that are too broad, right? We can probably eliminate hashtags like arch photo, maybe yep. interior photo, lounge area. Actually, you know what? All these hashtags that happen, I think, after here, uh, maybe Vacation Villa is okay, but all these are sort of irrelevant, okay? They're related more to the idea of architecture than they are related to the idea of a holiday. Okay, um, same with this. Um, these are probably also going away. Um, these pool things are very broad, so also too, too broad, but we can probably, yeah, we can probably keep it to that, 
right? So that is how we reduce the total set of data. Okay, let's keep on exploring and see what else we can find. Uh, this looks like it possibly could be from Bali. Um, no, this is in uh, Greece, Mykonos, all right? Okay. No, no, no luck there. So let's go back to the top of search again and see what we find. All right, so Bali Villa, Bali Villa. Okay, this one has six conversations, 11, 16, 7, 11, um, 8. Okay, let's try this one. This one has 8. Property of Bali, use a bathroom. Oh, okay, all right, fully licensed real estate agency, 186 likes. All right, let's go ahead and take this and expand the hashtag again. All right, so we see another round of potential hashtags. We can eliminate the hashtags that are not so relevant. Okay. Um, okay, we get rid. Oh, oh, sorry. There was one that was good there. Selling Bali could be uh, useful. We get rid of that hashtag. Which other hashtags can we get rid of? Barefoot last words. Yeah. Yeah. These are too broad. These really don't speak anything of a potential guest uh, looking at that. What? What else? What else is home styling? Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? Bali architecture and are they Bali it could be okay, right? It could be somebody who's shopping for a, a experience, you know, they want to know Bali life. So Bali property maybe maybe Bali property might be somebody who's looking to buy, but that could be okay. Somebody who's buying might be a guest, right? So there could be some some strong relevancy there. Uh, it, it, this is not exact science, this is just kind of like a gut feeling. All right, so um, we found quite a lot of hashtags already. Let's keep on looking, see if we find any more. Um, what's another good post with a lot of engagement? I'm looking for conversations. I'm looking for where there's a lot of comments because that is where my most engaged customers would be. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see. No, no, nothing, 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 nothing here. Nothing, 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 zero, zero, four. Thousand views. Okay, nine conversations. All right, Uluwatu Surf. Okay, good. And let's see. No hashtags. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So they have. There in their first comment. Uh, where, where do you see it? Uh, on the first. On the yeah. first photo. Am I am I blind? Oh here. Oh, on the first reply. Okay. And that's interesting. So somebody actually, somebody actually thought about um, somebody actually thought about like this uh, uh, this this configuration of using a reply as a way. To, oh yeah, that is smart. That's smart because that's the first engagement, right? And if the first engagement actually creates some hashtags, that might be better than just putting it on the content. Okay, that could be a good strategy. All right, Uluwatu Terfilas, Bali, Uluwatu. Okay, Bali might be a little bit too broad there, but okay, let's just kind of put it in. Cliff Front Villas, Bali Villa, Barefoot Luxury. Okay, all right, so now we have a good um, set of hashtags here, and we can keep on going, right? We can go Bali Villas, let's say Semenyak, right? Um, and dig up some, and then we go Bali Villas, Changu. And we could go for Changu Villas, right? We can keep on exploring more and more themes and start collecting more hashtags, okay? So why do we do this, Maria? Why are we collecting hashtags? To filter, we want to find the right things uh, our guests usually look for when they are planning to stay in Bali. That's right. We're looking for the keys that our guests will use to access this humongous database of social media, right? So you can think of, uh, a hashtag is a key, it's, a, it's like a password. It tells you what particular um, uh, area that, that this person will be focusing on and what they'll be developing. So we wanna adopt as much of that as possible and we want to go where there's conversations. Why do we wanna go where there's conversations, Maria? Mm, right after we find this thing. Right, but why, why am I looking for, for posts that have uh, high numbers of conversations, like dialogue here. Uh, it means that it, many guests are looking and talking about that place, right. so we could actually reach them out right. and bring out for these. Correct, because I'm looking for where engagement is happening. So if I look at here and there's no engagement happening, why would I use 
any of the keys that brought me to that idea. So I'm kind of working my way backwards, okay? I'm working my way from, I look at success, I look at what generates success, and then I copy that. And that is one of the most effective ways of actually listening to the right conversation. If you listen to these other conversations here, might not be so effective, okay? So that's, that's kind of like just a simple principle to have. All right, now that I have this, I can, I can go here and I can start searching for, let's say, Bali Vibes, right? And I can start looking at Bali Vibes and, and start looking at like what, what people are saying about that, okay? So I see all this stuff here, but searching on Instagram is inefficient because I don't have a lot of context. I can't see, um, I have to hover over just to see the statistics on it. I, I can't see who, who was the author of it. So this is where the problem comes in. How do I analyze a lot of this data, figure out where people are actually talking about in an efficient way that doesn't make my mind go bleh, right? So this is where we get to the second part of using a tool. So this is a tool that we use for social media listening. It's called Hootsuite. Hootsuite, we have a company account and we can definitely get you into it. And uh, you just go ahead and log in. We, we, we're, we're cheap right now, so we're not paying a paid account. Um, but once we have this here, what I'd like to do is I'll just close all of this over here. I'll move this over here. Okay, and I'll move this a little bit to this side. Okay, so what I can do now, let me, uh, let me show, sort of show you what, uh, what, is the, what, what this thing looks like from, from the very beginning, okay? So um, let's say, for example, I want to add, uh, I, wanna, I wanna know what's going on. I wanna search the activity around a particular direction. I wanna know what my guests are talking about. So what I would do is I would start looking Oops, why did I delete all that? Oh, I think I might have to add my social network back. Okay, I'm gonna have to add uh, Instagram business. Uh, oh, oh no, okay. All this nonsense. Oh crap, why did I do that? Sorry. Um, what I might have to do, oh, okay, that's good. Okay, hashtag, yay, I got it. Okay, all right, great, still works. So what I do is I access my Instagram profile by going through the sequence of steps that you just saw. I'll go back up there so you can see. So we go to our network and we select um, Book at Vista. We're gonna look at our Instagram. And what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for schedule or hashtag, sorry, we're gonna do a hashtag search. So what we can do here is we can take this hashtag over here, copy it from the list of popular hashtags that engaged audiences interact with and we can put it right here and we can add the stream. Boom. Okay, now what Hootsuite will do is it will add all the messages that are around this particular stream, okay? Hootsuite once upon a time allowed you to live engage, so you could comment right there on a post. You could actually respond, but now they're being a bitch and you can't do that anymore. So that's kind of a little bit annoying. But what you can do is you can see what particular hashtags um, are actually doing really well by looking at the likes, and the comments and the other engagements that you can't really see on um, any other thing. You can get your inspiration here. Let's say for example, you know that, ah, here's something related to Bali, and this is getting a ton of engagement. It's gotten um, 299 likes and 11 conversations, comments on it. So this can be a direction that you can put in perhaps, you know what you can do? You can be dastardly, right? You can send this piece, you can create a card using this as art, right? Because you know that whoever is uh, coming is probably gonna likely to be engaged with it because it already has proof of success, right? It has these 299 likes. So this, this, I'm gonna show you a process that is actually pretty mind blowing. So what you can do is you can open up your Canva and what you can do is, okay, you know this works, so you can copy this by screenshot, right? Grab that by Canva. And then you can kind of go over here and you can create a greeting card for a guest, right? So you can go and let's see, uh, I don't know, greeting card, greeting card, greeting, greeting. Okay, let's say you create a greeting card. Um, and you can have a greeting card here and you can say, Welcome to Bali. Uh, we are your Book It Vista hosts. I'll 
do your, I'll be looking after your stay, right? And then you can go here to upload, upload that little thing that you found. Okay, and since I have super fast upload, you put it here, get rid of this doctor thing, All right? Okay, and then, you know, you can do this, and uh, where can I find you, Maria? Maria, 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 oh wait, I know where to find you. You're on the HR Trello, right? So then you can yeah. go, oh wait, you're on Slack. So I can just go to Slack, and I can go like here, Bring up your avatar. Ah, okay. Let's just do this as an example. Of course, if we really did this, we could probably do this much, much more better. But I'm here just to illustrate an idea. Okay. Um, and then you can put your screenshot up. Okay, that should be uploaded in a second. That, right? Okay. Right, and then you can download that. Oops, not a video, what the heck? Okay, sorry, download that as a uh, JPEG. Download it. Come on, okay, the JPEG is downloaded. And then I'll slack you with this so you can be like, whoa, what the heck just happened, right? And uh, okay, upload, and download. And there you go. Okay. All right. Kaboom. All right. That's a way that you can use social media monitoring to create social media delight, right? So you don't necessarily have to. And, and if you want to be nice, you can give credit to the person who created this, right? Yeah. So that, so that you're being respectful of other people's art, not just being a. Uh, I, I figure if you put it up on social media, anybody can take it anyway. So. So if you don't, if you want to keep it private, then then put it on like you know uh, Getty Images or something. But that way, your guests will probably go amazing, right? That's so cool because uh, you already know that this is something that they're interested in. So that's one way of actually generating social media monitoring into um, into creating inspired delight. Okay, so that's uh, that's one thing I wanted to show you about that. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is, let's say you're looking for a guest or you're looking to, to create a piece of content yourself that will stimulate guests. So you can see that Balinese style right here, it doesn't seem to have a lot of material to draw from. I don't, I don't get that much. So what I might need to do is uh, I'll probably go to the next, uh, I'll go to the next hashtag, right? So maybe I look for, um, I'll pick one here. I'll pick Changu Bali, okay? So I pick Changu Bali. And I'm gonna add a new hashtag, okay, Changu Bali. I'll add the stream. And oh, right, I think it also matters if you put hashtag in front of it or not. So let's go ahead and remove the hashtag from the hash, see if that gives us a different stream. And it does, oh no, it does, it's the same. Okay, it's the same. So Hootsuite's far enough to know the difference. Okay, so what I can do, what I'm doing with social media monitoring in this case is I'm looking for where the party at right? Where's the party at? What is it that everybody is talking about and that I am being left out on? So uh, I can see, okay, there's a live music thing here, but since there's not a lot of engagement, maybe nobody's going. So it sucks. Who cares, right? It's COVID, sir. Oh, what? It's COVID. It's COVID. Yeah, probably not that many people interested. Okay. There's people doing this. Okay. So this gets me a, an inspiration. Maybe we can do something similar to that for yourself, right? So maybe you can start creating some content with your own face and it just gives you an idea of what you can work with, what people are likely to engage. This, by the way, is how memes are created. So people are searching for what is trending and then they take that and they adjust it a little bit and they create their own version of that same meme. Okay, so uh, I'm not getting a lot of good content here. Um, I don't see a lot of engagement. So, oh wait, wait, here we go, here we go. Here's the one that seems to be the most engaged here, right? Uh, White Goose Hotel, White Goose Brawa. Okay, interesting, interesting. That might be worthwhile to take a look at. So so I can, I can put this down, right? Maybe this becomes part of my social media inspiration. So I'll create a new area. 
I'll create, uh, let's say, the theme and uh, inspiration, right? Okay, so the theme here is, oops, sorry, not, not that. The theme here is Changu Bali, and the inspiration is this, is this post here. Now, you'd never know where you might actually use this inspiration. Maybe, uh, maybe it can be the way that you, mod or you set up your own Instagram account for guests. Maybe it's a way to get into a certain conversation thread. But if it, if it inspires you, um, just go ahead and put it down, right? That's uh, another way of listening. Okay, um, let's keep on looking. Okay, it's kind of dry now. I don't see too much other interesting. Oh, 73. Okay, 73. That's quite a lot. Is going viral. Clinking bitch. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I might find another few hashtags now, right? So I can I can keep on going with my hashtags. Now I do it on Hootsuite. Okay. And uh, I'm starting a new thread here called Changu Bali. Okay. And those are my new hashtags there. Okay, and uh, these are very, very specific to Bali, actually. Very cool. So that's essentially the process. It's a little bit like shopping and collecting, I say, in social media management. Let's let's look for where the party's at. I'm I'm really curious where where is where is it going to be a a really busy hashtag. So I think well, let's go with Bali Villa, right? Because that is probably something that will really knock the socks off. Okay, two, two. Nothing. Hey, this is us. No, this is us. This looks like us. I don't think so. No, looks so familiar. Okay. No. Oh, all right. So not us. I, I could have. Okay. All right. Um, you can also see after a while what particular styles work better on Instagram. So, oh, like this one, right? This one seems to work really good. Okay, a lot yep. of engagements here. That's probably because there's a kid in there. Which might actually bring the question up, right, for your own social media. Is it worthwhile to put the kids of guests in our guest post on our Instagram account? Because apparently it works, right? Okay, let's keep on looking. Let's try to see if we can find where the party is. Um, nope, that's not where the party is. Nope, no party here. No party here. One engagement. Seven engagements here. Okay, uh, okay kind of better. Uh, okay, some new... Hashtags again for Bali Villa. So let's 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 collect those. Um, okay, let's keep on going. Eight. Okay, there's that white goose thing that we just saw. Oh, that's it. Okay, that seems to be the one. Okay, so this is an interesting discussion. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can do anything about this. Send to email. What does send to email mean? View on Instagram. Okay, let's try to view it on Instagram. Ah, okay, so we have to move to Instagram before we can engage with it, okay? So this is placed about an hour ago. This is all these engagements. This is a good time to engage with. Wow, this is amazing. When can I go there myself, right? Uh, by the way, how many units are available here, okay? So this is a way to just get involved uh, in the social media conversation. Um, so that's that's kind of like a general way to get involved. A better way would be to let everybody reading this who's a potential guest that you are also a provider of solutions for them, right? Um, but you don't want to come off as a person who is pitching. You just want to kind of like get into the conversation, right? Once you're into the conversation, you develop a flow. That's when um, you can maybe offer something, right? Like you can be, oh, hey, uh, who wants to go? Oh, here's here's a good here's a good here's a good way to get get the crowd started. You can say, "Who wants to go here today?" All right? And me, 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 great. And like, where else in Bali do you want to go? Right? And they go, "I want to go to Changu. I want to go to Ubud." Great. We have a lot of properties in Changu and Ubud. Right? So that's another way that you can use social media to get yourself into the right conversation, and then using very skilled moderation develop a potential link to guests, right? Or develop a potential way to engage with guests as well, okay? So um, all very, um, this is this is looking for a party conversation. Before, was looking for inspiration. And uh, and yeah, this is, uh, this you can even send as data, let's say to maybe uh, the other people in your team, right? So you can go to, let's say, um, 
CM discussion, right? If you find this, you know that guests are engaging with it. You can ask the teams to focus on finding properties that look like this, right? In Karangasam. Um, this could be this could be a good Oh wait, Jakarta to Bali. That's a really interesting new hashtag. That is the third thing you can do. When you find a new hashtag that is just coming up, you can explore it. Let's 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 look at that one. Oh, there's only 478 posts. But Okay, okay. Well, let's look around. Let's look around that hashtag. That's a pretty novel hashtag. Put it into Hootsuite and see what we can find. Mmm, okay. All right, well, that was the post that we just took a look at. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there's not that much that we can find. We have to go to Instagram to, to look for more. And... Ah, okay, here's one, right? Here's a conversation. And see, look, you can reply to some of this stuff, right? Like, what would you yeah. say? What would you say? Give me, give me a response that you would say. Uh, like, just like my friends, you could take your friends or. No, 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 we, what we want to say is we want to respond to ner, yeah, we want to respond to her. And we want to let her know that we can offer her uh, accommodations in Bali. Oh, I see. Because she's saying that she doesn't know who to tag, something like that. Oh, it doesn't know so who to I'm tag. Okay. Yeah. So we could ask her, how many people do you want to bring to Bali, right? But of course, we would write that in Bahasa Indonesia. So how would we say that? Mm -hmm. Uh, berapa orang yang mau ke Bali? Berapa orang yang berapa, mau ke Bali? Berapa orang yang mau ke Bali, sir? Mau ke Bali, ya? Yeah. Yep. Okay, like that? Great. Yes. Okay, so this is a form of social media listening, monitoring, and engaging. And this is where you can discover what guests really want, right? And say, who are you going to bring? How many days are you going to stay? What would you actually like to do? So through this social media engagement, you are doing market discovery. You are figuring out what is actually going on um, from having conversations. This is the beauty of, let's say, Instagram, I think, right? It allows you to be very conversational. It's almost like a convention, an event that never ends. So find yourself into the crowd. Ah, it's like our Trello boards, right, Maria? It allows anybody at any time to join the conversation and, and have a meaningful discourse about it, right? So, um, okay, let's go back to the very beginning again, the purpose of social media listening. Tell me, what was the purpose of this particular project that you have, Maria? So for my pipe, is actually, I'm looking for a guest that is looking for Fila and we offer them our properties. Okay, then that could be it, right? So if you hunt around on things like Bali Villas and you look for, let's say, engagements, or you look for people like Nur Lia Fatinikma, right? You look for people who have intention to come to Bali and you entice them by, by asking them questions about like where they plan to travel, what their travel plans are, and then you can offer solutions, right? It's very important to do that. Um, don't pitch right away. Don't say, hey, look, whatever, this is what I have. Ask questions, be curious. And once you get enough questions, then that's how you can develop that, okay? <coughs> okay, that's it. That's the, the thing I want you to uh, take away. I'm going to leave the um, access to Hootsuite here. I'll encode it onto your card so you'll have access to it, okay? And uh, I'll, I'll try to add you as a collaborator so that way you have access to the board. And then I'll also add um, this paper here. You can add this paper as a worksheet, okay, to your current, let's call this your uh, social media listening worksheet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want also to ask her, so we actually put news to Facebook for in for Facebook. Uh, come again? Uh, can we also use the Hootsuite for Facebook? Yeah, you can use it for everything. Um, this is this is just a tool. You can just point this in a different direction, and you can use it for Facebook. So you can add a stream here. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, let's let's go through that, how we might do that. Oh, but before, um, let's do this first, though. Oh, no. My computer is having a, a birthing process right now. So it's going to oh, lag maybe. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, we can definitely add Facebook. So we uh, select the profile. Okay. Uh, let's see. Schedule timeline messages. Oh, um, you cannot search Facebook for. Let's let's see if we can. Okay. So we have a Facebook for mentions. This is good. Every time we get mentioned, we 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 know. So we can like all the things, right? And we can comment. All right. You see, that's great, right? Anytime somebody mentions you, you should know about that. So we could be like, hey, prima kasi untuk. Uh, I don't know, what would you say? Uh, anyway, just, let's just keep it simple, right? Okay, so let's see what you can do on Facebook. On Facebook, you can monitor activity. Okay, let's add that. Filter by, okay, this isn't that useful. This is just your normal Facebook feed, right? The outgoing communication. So that's that. Maybe we don't really need it, so we can delete the stream. Um, Maybe you can monitor the timeline. Okay, not so useful, right? Uh, you can't really do that much social media listening on Facebook, apparently. So you can't like investigate hashtags and go around that. Uh, I get it. Facebook is a little bit more of a closed community for like Gen Xs and baby boomers, and Instagram is more open, more for like millennials and Gen Zs, right? So it's probably why the uh, different in accessibility. Okay. So, oh yeah, uh, this stream updates, of course. So every time it updates, you can refresh, 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 and then you'll see what the latest streams are, okay? So um, that is one thing. The Hootsuite login, I'll put here. You're probably gonna need some passwords and stuff, but I'll make that available. And the last thing you need is, um, uh, where's the HAR discussion? HAR discussion, okay. You probably should also look at that LinkedIn learning file, which I'll attach, okay? All right, um, that's pretty much it. How helpful was this now, Maria, for getting you started on kind of understanding the purpose and how to understand how to use the, the tools available? Well, for me, it's quite helpful, sir. And I just know that this Hootsuite can do such things for ease us to find the trending things. Okay. And how it can Hmm. I can elaborate what is trending and inspire the other. Okay, good. So you didn't know about this before. Uh, we learned something today, and you can put another skill set on your CV one day, right? Should you actually need to mm-hmm. to say, hey, yeah, look, I know how to use Hootsuite. And uh, people mm-hmm. will be like, yo, that's awesome. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, whoops, what just happened there? That is not what I wanted to happen. Uh, give me a second here. I'm just finishing putting this final touch onto the document. Okay, there it is. All right, there, there's your learning package. Oh, what? That's ugly. Let me get that done correctly. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. What? Okay. That should work out. All right, let's see. No, it still didn't work. Probably need to get rid of the space. One, two, three. Space created. All right, there we go. Okay, so that, that's pretty much it. I'll add the video onto this card now so you can review this video later if you need any refreshers. And uh, yeah, ping me again by the end of the day if you don't get access to Hootsuite, okay? I'll try my best to add you on this side, but if you don't get access, let me know. All right, sir. No okay, then. all right. See you later, Maria. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a Bye. nice day.